So hello, it's me, Darkman Doll. I wanted to come to you guys with a video that's very talking about something that's very annoying right now. <sighs> For the past few days when I go on to Instagram, I've been seeing posts of just ridiculously horrific things pertaining to free foreign dreadlocks. Uh, first of all, let me just mention the first thing. The first thing I saw was this, um, what was it? Oh, it was this woman who posted a video about her freeform dreadlocks, and they look really cool. They're really thick and chunky, and some of them, some of the pieces, they're like new growth growing in or whatever. And she was talking, explaining in the video how, what does she do with that new growth? I mean, the grows in. This is all new growth, this right here. If you can see it any it, it, well at all. She talked about how she, um, she'll just twist it up and just tuck it into the bigger locks. Um, and I was appalled by the comments in the comment section as far as that goes. Just saying that this person has mental illness, that this person uh, obviously doesn't know how to take care of themselves, and the lot. That was just appalling to me. And then um, I've noticed on Instagram how there's a lot of posts for lacticians showing videos how they uh, fix people's freeform dreadlocks. <laughs> like they want, they don't want, they don't want uncultivated locks to be representing locks in general. And it's just, so really fucking artificial and goofy i feel like you know i still have preformed dreadlocks these are these dreads are preformed together okay there's no separation here i don't separate my locks most of what i've done in my locks is braided and that's why it's all swirly like this curly fry style <laughs> but um that's the only reason why it's my longest lock but um, that's the only reason why. And I have recently trimmed them because I had some that was damaged. Uh, but I'm just tired of seeing these posts of uh, what people think locks should look like. And when you say LLCS, that automatically gives you a flag that it's uh, that the locks are... Um, that they're wanting you to um, present your locks a certain way to polite society. And the whole definition of freeform dreadlocks was supposed to be about locks forming freely, not about um, I gotta get my, my roots twisted and all this kind of shit. Um, I don't have a lot of nice things to say about people posting things like this. And assuming that people have uh, a mental illness or they're or they're in a severe depression, and that's the reason why they're dre they're letting their their hair, you know, go as they would say. <laughs> and um, it's really annoying. I've seen so many videos on Instagram where they talk about um, look at what I look at this mess I have, and they show it before the person sitting in the, in the uh, the chair. Uh, waiting to get their hair um, unseparated and all of this stuff. And it's kind of like making this person feel bad about, you know, what their hair looks like. And they showed this one older guy, older black man, in a chair at a lock salon getting his, his locks maintained. What happened was his locks were joining together just like freeform dreadlocks, like how they do what I've been talking about for ages and um she just pretty much said oh look his hair is falling apart so what we're gonna do pretty much she talked to cut off a whole bunch of his locks and then washed them out let them dry and then reattached them with like a crochet type of deal and after she did it it was like so it was separated in parts and you could see his scalp, and his scalp looked pink, like it was irritated, like she had pulled it so tight. And that's the thing about these um, these people, these opticians that are um, out there 
you know, making people who have free form dreadlocks look like they're dirty, unkempt, and that they're <laughs> that they have a mental illness, and that's why. That's the only reason why your hair would be like that. That's the only reason why you would let your hair go that far and not uh, separate it is because you you're mentally unsafe, stable, and that's fucked up. It's totally fucked up. And it seems like ever since the the title Freeform Dreadlocks turned into just Freeform Locks, L-O-C-S, that's when things started to get getting stupid as far as this all goes. Um, I don't care what people choose to do with their hair. I really don't. But when you just put it out there for the whole world to, to see, because this is... This is nationwide, and you, everybody can watch these videos, and they get a misrepresentation of what freeform dreadlocks are. Not everybody who has freeform dreadlocks uh, has mental illness, severe mental illness. Not everybody who has freeform dreadlocks is severely depressed. Um, not everybody is. <clears throat> and it's just really, really really disgusting to me what they're doing on uh, Instagram and I'm sure it's being done on TikTok and all the other places you can go to I don't even go into TikTok and when I posted some things on TikTok I was posting regularly a long time ago when I first uh, got a TikTok and I don't like it at all so I don't go there at all because they're rude people are just nasty and disgusting as far as um, when they post or comment on your posts. So I, I just wanted to talk about my, my disgust at what I was seeing on Instagram. You know, people don't like freeform dreadlocks unless they're perfectly coiffed. Even if, when I don't braid my dreadlocks and it's not all swirly, whirly like this, and it's just like how it is, you know? People look at me like I'm nasty and dirty. But when my hair is like this, like I just freshly took my braids out from braiding my freeform dreadlocks, people are like, wow, your hair looks so great, you know? And, um, or if my hair is in braids, because I usually have been putting them in four, five braids, my freeform dreadlocks, I'm like, wow, that's so awesome. But then if I come out with my hair just as it is without having to braid it, you know, maybe I just rinsed my hair and it's just in its natural stage. Because as you can see, my hair is in different lengths, as always. If you find dreadlocks, your hair is going to be in different lengths. It's not going to be all in one length all the time. So, as, <laughs> as shown with this one. And um, it's just disgusting. It really is. It really disgusts me how people have this urge to just put on blast people who have free foreign dreadlocks and just give the the audience who's watching, which is all over the world, this view about free foreign dreadlocks, that it's dirty, it's nasty, only people that have mental disabilities or um, depression, severe depression, are ones that would let their hair lock like this. And that is fucking not true in every circumstance. Some people that does happen because hair locks naturally if you just stop messing with it and leave it alone, it'll lock up. No matter what hair texture you have, eventually it'll lock up. Some hair textures lock faster than others, as I've talked about a gazillion times on my channel. And I've been doing freeform dreadlock videos for time immemorial, okay? And it's just really... It's really disgusting what's going on in public and public media, social media, whatever you want to fucking call it. People are just being very nasty and mean and trying to push on their perceived ideas of beauty onto the world and what people are supposed to look like. And it's just really annoying as fuck. You know, stop fucking with fucking making fun of people too. That have free foreign dreadlocks. I'm tired of that. I really am tired of, I'm sick of it. 
you know, look at all this work I had to do to separate this guy's hair and get all the freaking dandruff. Look at how dirty it is. And, um, we're going to do a soak on his hair. You know, this is what happens when people don't separate their hair and get their hair maintained by a professional optician. That's not why. That's not why a lot of this stuff happens. Yes, there is times when people get extreme, can go through extreme depression and stop combing their hair if they usually normally comb it and let it go. But there's people who actually don't want to comb their hair and don't want to separate the, their free-form dreadlocks because there wouldn't be free-form dreadlocks. <laughs> they wouldn't be freely forming. It's just ass backwards right now, as far as that goes. It really is. So that's how my hair's been looking. I'll turn around so you can see the back of it, the side. Right here, it's really short here. And then there's the back of it. I recently did a treatment on my hair. What I did was I used, I melted um, this really good natural butter. And I did like a, a, a butter treatment on it. And it's like really soft and supple, and it was helping with the damage that I that had occurred in my locks um, from all the stress that I'm going through. Um, which you guys, a lot of you guys already know about from watching previous videos on this channel, recent videos of of what happened to me with becoming homeless last year in June, and still homeless. So, um, and there's good things happening in in regards to that. Which I'll talk about on another video. But even though I am homeless, I still, and I have depression, and I have mental disabilities as well as physical disabilities, but my hair is clean, <laughs> you know, and they're, my hair is not dirty. And it's just like, why are we doing this? Why are people doing this? I'll tell you why, so they can get money. So they can get paid. So they can convince these people, oh, because your hair is jacked up. You know, you let it go too long. Why did you do that? Now look at this. Now we're going to have to do all this stuff. You know, like cut the loose ones off and then put them in a bunch and wash them up good and dry them and then reattach them so your hair looks form, you know, looks form just right and looks approachable to polite society that's what the fuck this shit is it's just about looking good for polite society and a lot of people don't give a fuck about looking good for polite society a lot of people don't they really don't that's why a lot of black people back in the day wore afros but just let their hair be out in its natural state the reason why a lot of black people don't wear wear their hair out in its natural state is because they don't want people making fun of them they don't they don't want people making fun of them they want to be accepted they want to be able to want to get a job that that top Earning job, they want to be able to have friends that don't make fun of them. They, it's just all about somebody else and not about the actual individual person and why they decided to let their hair lock. And it's just sickening. It's like, look, I've got, look at this person. So many videos on there on Instagram. It's like, look, before, look how messed up it is. And now after, and that one sweet young lady, young woman, who posted that, that one video that I was talking about her hair her locks were really chunky it was chunk chunk you know chunk 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 which was really cute and uh, really beautiful and she had like 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 I said she had uh, new growth and she was showing people how she what she does with the new growth she'll just twist it up and just tuck it in <laughs> to her um, other big locks but <laughs> her post wasn't greeted with, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. No, because people are still living by white European uh, standards. So they put that on us, black people, whether it's black men or black women. And black women usually do have more of a, um, 
a tear down when, when they decide, no, I'm just going to let my hair lock up naturally. I'm not going to separate. I'm not going to go to a loctician. I don't want it. I don't want all that maintenance. I want to do it myself. I don't want to pay a shitload of money to do something I can do or that Mother Nature can help me do all on its own like that. It's just really sickening. I have a little bit of my smoothie. Like I said, I don't care what people do choose to do with their hair because everybody has free will. I'm not here to judge other people. And that's the thing, is a lot of people that have free flowing dreadlocks, I mean, ones, people that don't separate or anything, see that these are together like that. All of my free flowing dreadlocks, all of my locks, even the little tiny bips, like, see, look at these here. These are all joining together. But we don't go, I mean, people that truly have free flowing dreadlocks, we're not going around saying, nasty things about people making assumptions about people because they have free foreign dreadlocks that's just disgusting to me and it needs to stop i can't control it you can't control it but it pisses me off and it, it annoys me to no end because as a world <laughs> it's all over the world people have this idea of what dreadlocks are supposed to look like and now, oh, we don't want to call them dreadlocks. We want to call them locks, L-O-C-S, because it's more classy. And I don't like dreadlocks because I don't think my hair is dreadful. You know what I mean? That's a choice. Okay, you can do that. But why are you spending so much time you know, spreading lies and misinformation about free-form dreadlocks? Why? Why, are you feel why do you feel the need to do that? Okay, you're a loctician, and you like to do what you do, then do what you do, but don't, like, start spreading lies about what Freeform Dreadlocks is all about. It's just fucked. It really is. It's really messed up. Because that gives people the wrong, the wrong impression of what Freeform Dreadlocks are in general, or what they were meant to be in the first place. You know what I'm saying? People got things really way twisted. Let me pause this up. I got some talking going on inside. Hold on, I got some talking going on outside. For the longest, we black people had to um, conform to fit into polite society, meaning we have to, we're, we felt the need to look exactly like white people as far as our hair in order to get a job, in order to have friends, in order to be accepted in your, our communities. We felt the need to do something extra. We always had to be extra, more extra than a white person. It's true, more extra than a white person. Because this society was built on the beauty of the white person, specifically the white female. And if you want to disagree with that, you can feel free to do so. Look back in history and you'll see it. Black people, black women, black men have been always seen as being someone who is scary, unkempt, and needs to be tamed. And so we take that, oh, needs to be tamed term and apply it to our hair, our natural hair. It needs to be tamed. Because if it isn't, it's not going to be acceptable. And it's going to be weird and people are going to look at you and you're not going to look like everybody else. But is it, isn't that the point? Is to be individual? Is to be an authentic being on this planet? Bring forth your own personality, your own way of expressing yourself, your own points of view, your own perception that makes each and every one of us on this planet individual, a separate entity from from one another and not the same fucking like sheep mentality thing going on forever and ever. How long are we going to do this? How long are we going to kowtow, kowtow to, to, um, to corporations and people that are making all these products to tame 
our black hair. It's ridiculous. I'm tired of it. I am. I'm, I'm flat out tired of it. What it does, it makes people who have naturally, like, especially people with 4C hair. I'm going to just focus on that because that's the kind of hair that I have. They want us to continuously hate our hair. And I'll go as far as talking about the Instagram videos that I've seen where uh, they show the women with the Afro hair and it's like 4C hair. And it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do with my hair? It's ugly. And then to get some product to put into it so it'll have some curly ringlets and stuff like that. And look, now you can see the curl pattern. Or, you know, people with 4C hair. The hair is get growing, it's getting longer. Well, let me show you how much long it, how long it really is, because the shrinkage is, is beyond control. So let me get this hot comb out so I can show you the real length of my hair. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Am I right? It's totally insane. It's insane. Talk about mental illness. That's a mental illness. Trying to make your your hair, the texture of your hair, into something that it's not. Just so you can blend in with polite society. Just so you can be a part of the crowds. Just so you won't stand out. Just so you won't be isolated and alone. Just so you won't be, you know, seen as a pariah or whatever. I'm just tired of, I'm tired of uh, people putting shit up there to tear us down as black people. And I can just really express how I feel as a black woman when I say this, is that when black men decide to let their hair free form in it, you know, you see all the people with the big, really thick locks and everything, they get less, uh, less, uh, complaints, less insults than fe females with free form dreadlocks that are natural, that aren't like separated, you know? I even got some really weird chunks right here, funny chunks here, little ch small chunks, because I haven't separated anything. <laughs> I don't. I don't separate anything, and I don't feel the need to. And this isn't a debate on whether you should separate or not, because I really don't care what people do with their hair. But what I do care about is if someone decides that they want to have freeform dreadlocks without separating it, that they shouldn't be all of a sudden seen as someone who has a mental problem. Someone who's seen as, oh, they must be severely depressed. It's ridiculous. It is. It's really, really, really ridiculous. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it. And, um, it makes me not want to be on Instagram when I see shit like that. Because when I go on Instagram, I'll post my artwork and then I'll look at other posts that I like. It's usually a lot of autistic uh, creators that I like to watch or comment on their videos. Autis autism, ADHD, and then I look at a lot of like animal, like mainly cats, <laughs> photos and videos. And I really like stuff like that. But all this other shit in between, I can give a fuck about it. As far as putting down people with three foreign dreadlocks. We never put down people, a, black, a white woman with blonde hair doing a tutorial showing you how they dye their hair or how they style their hair or how they put their hair in cornrows or, or how, they, uh, how they attach fake dreadlocks onto their hair to have dreadlock, instant dreadlocks. And that's not me talking about people and getting mad about people doing that because as I said before, people are very much allowed to do whatever it is that the hell they want to do with their hair and I really don't give a fuck but when it comes to just berating and making fun of people who decide to let their hair just do what it wants to do and you make it fun of them for what because they don't look like you because they don't look like what you think they should look like because they don't look Exactly like what the commercials say you should look like. What certain some so-and-so's tutorial says you should look like. It's fucked. 
you know, and when you look up, when you type in the words freeform dreadlocks onto, um, whether it's Instagram or even YouTube, I've done that lately. And what do you see? How to create freeform dreadlocks. <laughs> it's just funny saying how to create them. Now, see, the thing is this. In the beginning, <laughs> it was all about throw the comb away. Like like that one reggae um, band, what's the name of Twinkle Brothers, that song that, the song called Since I Threw the Comb Away. <sighs> Jet were supposed to be about freedom, about letting things do what they do, letting nature take over. And it's funny how people that have such manicure locks and everything will say, oh, Bob Marley and all that. But Bob Marley did not have manicure locks. Neither did T Peter Tosh. Neither did the lead singer for Burning Spear, <laughs> which I think he's awesome. Neither did any of these famous people that people will mention when it comes to dreadlocks. And a lot of people don't like saying dreadlocks. And I did a video about that a long time ago. And you can look that one up. But it just is annoying to me that um, we're still in that state of uh, if your hair ain't straight or if your hair ain't a certain way. Okay, you, all right, if your hair's not straight, as long as it's like in a really nice uniform hairstyle where it's nothing that's sticking up or... You know, my hair is very much an anomaly when it comes to that. And I know... <laughs> it's just so insane to me. It really is. And it gets on my nerves because all it does is confuses people. There's a lot of people out there who have uh, decided this is what I want to do. And then they go online to try to figure out, oh, am I doing it right? You know what I mean? Is this the right thing? There's people that just are just now learning how to take care of their hair. And um, posts like these do not help. I'll tell you that. Posts like these do not help. All it does is gives people a sense of insecurity about themselves. Lack of confidence in themselves. Makes them doubt, well, maybe I shouldn't be natural. Maybe I should just go back to doing what I did so everybody will accept me and I'll be presentable on videos or in public. You know, it's sad. It's really sad. Because this where all this started was from um, the whole promoting of white female European standards as far as hair goes. And how it should look. And what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And if you're not acceptable, you're going to be an outcast. You're going to be, you know, made fun of, laughed at, and teased. Just for being your natural self. <laughs> Just for being as natural as you can be. You're being judged. And it's ridiculous. It really is, and especially in this day and time. It's ridiculous. It's, appall it's appalling. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing all these locticians, you know, bringing in, put, bringing these videos, bringing these clients in. And usually the, the, the problemed clients are the ones who have free foreign dreadlocks. And they're only supposedly showing people that have extreme depression. Oh, this lady just lost her husband. And look at her hair. It's all jacked up. We're going to straighten it up and make it look put out. And the next video, I mean, next portion of the video, they'll show. Okay, here's before. Look at it. It's just fucked. Look at that. Dandruff all in there and, you know, stuff embedded in the dreads and stuff. And after, look at, look at what I did. It's a masterpiece now. Look at it. Look at it. All these individual parts that you can see, scalp exposed. The scalp looks fucking red or pink because they, like, pulled it so tight at the root to the point where the person's scalp is so irritated just to sacrifice 
you sacrificed your scalp just so you can have this perfect perfect vision of hair for the world to see now that fucking sucks so anyway that's my rant about um instagram and social media in general tearing down freeform dreadlocks misrepresenting what freeform dreadlocks is really about and um giving people a lot of people a sense of self-doubt a lot of feeling the loss of self-confidence it's fucked the refreshing thing though that i've been seeing around here around town here where i'm currently located is that there's a lot of people a lot of mainly black men coming out with their free foreign dreadlocks and that's really really um it's really refreshing to see you won't really see black women around town with free foreign dreadlocks Maybe once in a blue moon I'll see that, but not all the time. And we're just seen as aliens. And if that's how I have to be seen, then that's so be it. (laughs) For all you know, I could be an alien. So (laughs) I just don't like this, this like quest to make us look just like European white women. Because we're not. And we never will be, no matter what we do. You could try to alter your hair. You could try to bleach your skin. You could, Whatever you do, you're still going to be who you are. Who you're born to be. And this shit just... It's it's fucked. It really is. Because I get all kinds of fucking nasty looks. Um from people with my hair sometimes when it's like this too (laughs) wear it out like this sometimes even like this i get nasty looks but usually it's when it's not all squirrelied up from leaving them in braids but um it's usually when it's just not braided not swirly and all that just right after i rinsed my hair and came out of the shower and bam it's just like that all these different lengths it just really fucks people up. <laughs> it fucks a lot of people's minds up. I get a lot more compliments from white women, elderly white women, than I do from black women. I mean, a lot of black women, as they get older, what they decide to do is just pop a wig on their head. You know, and I'm not judging people for wearing wigs because that's a personal decision. But when you start talking, talking to people who don't want to wear wigs and want to wear their hair natural and you like wearing wigs and you start telling them that they need to cut their hair because it looks unapproachable or you need to braid that hair. (laughs) It's not just the older generation of black people saying this. It's younger generations too. It doesn't really matter. A lot of this Some of this stuff doesn't matter about the generation. It just matters about what people are being taught. And what they're taught about what's more acceptable and approachable and what's not. You know, and I'm at, I've always been at the opinion of this. If you don't accept me for what I look like, then you're just not a part of uh, my tribe or who it is I'm supposed to be uh, communing with, talking to. It's as simple as that. If you can't accept how my hair looks as it is, then so be it. Then you don't have to deal with me. You don't have to talk to me. You don't have to communicate with me whatsoever. It's just, it's just really just, (laughs) it puts a damper on me going on uh, social media, especially Instagram, because I like to go on Instagram and looking at the things they have and there's posts from people from all over the world and everything, but I don't I don't find myself interested in in going on there uh, as much. I feel like I just want to get on there, post what I want to post, and get the fuck off of there because it's just it's amazing how cruel people can be, how heartless people can be. Here's the thing: is you'll they'll tear down that one lady's video, the one young woman's video. 
I was talking about with their really beautiful freeform dreadlocks, talking about how what she does with the new growth. And they'll they'll say all kinds of mean shit to her. But then you get someone posting videos of their daughter dressed like a 24-year-old 24 year, 24 year woman with makeup on and dressed all provocative, and it's like a toddler. And that gets tons of views and, and applause. And that's just sick, because we know how many predators are out there and be looking at these little girls all dressed up like this, the, the tall toddlers and tiaras thing. It's just sick. It really is sick. So, um, yeah, I just want to piff, put forth this rant here today because I was really feeling it. <laughs> and it's really just, it's fucked. Um, so I'm saying this, if you're just now starting out on a freeform dreadlock journey and um, you're wanting to get advice, you're wanting to know what's right, um, a lot of this stuff has got to be just innate and... Uh, intuitive and you can check out my past videos that I've done I've done a, a, a gazillion videos on freeform dreadlocks and how different ways of maintaining them keeping them healthy and things you can do as far as health wise things you can eat to promote healthy hair growth because for me it was always about healthy hair growth it wasn't about um, making them look a certain way or making them uh, get a certain length it was about having healthy hair and a healthy scalp and if you don't have healthy hair and a healthy scalp it's not due all the time to severe depression or mental illness that's just fucked okay <laughs> it is it's really messed up so i guess that's all i have to say about this uh Feel free to comment in the comment section below if you feel free to. Go right ahead. Um, if you like for me to make more videos like this, or any video ideas you might have, you could donate to my cash app. My cash tag on my cash app is Light Moon Doll. And um, also, in exchange for your donation, I can also make a one-of-a-kind piece of artwork for you. You can check out my past videos that I've done for um, Art Talk. And you can see the art that I have available and what kind of art that I create. You can also go to my Instagram, which is under the name Psychedelic Dark Moon. And uh, check me out over there. I got all kinds of stuff going on over there that you may be interested in. So, with that said, um, I'm here to promote nothing. <laughs> I'm here to tell you guys to be you. Whatever that means. Whatever form that means be you don't feel like you have to conform to other people's standards because if you try to conform to other people's standards all of your life you're never going to be you who you truly are take some time out and figure out who it is the fuck it is that you are before you start taking all these things seriously about what these people are saying you know about your natural hair it's just insane. You know, these people are the ones with the mental problem. Trying to manipulate people's minds because they just want to make money. That's what it's all about is making money. It's all about making money. It's not about helping. It's about making money. Whatever people can do and say to you to get your cash out of your wallet, they will do it. And that's what's happening right now. So anyways, thanks for joining me. Brightest blessings to you all, and I will see you soon.